I don't know if that worked. Hey, good morning. Thanks for joining us today. We are, it's time for some Motivation Monday. I'm Julie. I'm not going to be working out with you. That's a good thing. You don't want me working out with you, but we do have some experts here to help you kick off your week the right way. We have Roy Montez, who's our BeFit ambassador. He does a lot of great things for the exchange and he is a fabulous trainer. He'll be working, guiding you through a workout today. And with him, we also have Senior Master Sergeant Sonia Berry. She works at our headquarters in our public health office and she is a tremendous asset to the team. And they are both ready for some Motivation Monday and ready to put in some work. So how are you guys doing today? Julie, welcome. Welcome to our Motivation Mondays. I'm doing well. How are you? I, hey, I'm doing great. It's so good to see you guys. Good morning, Julie. Thanks for being so generous. I'm not sure I'm quite an expert yet, but... <laughs> I think you are. You are to me. Um, <laughs> Well, we're kind of building an audience here and it's going to be, it's going to be a great workout and Roy, I'm going to kick it over to you and let you and Sonia do your thing. And I will um, stop as you guys are going along when you take natural breaks and interject comments from the audience. So if you guys are watching live today, let us know where you're watching live from and let us know what questions you have for Roy and Senior Master Sergeant Barry about the workout or about fitness and nutrition and the BFIT program in general, and we'll get you taken care of. So without further ado, y'all can hit it. <laughs> All right, Julie, thank you so much for the warm, warm welcome. Again, everyone, we are always here. We're here every Mondays at 11 o'clock Central Standard Time, our time. So please, now is a great time to grab your water bottles, to stay hydrated, grab a towel, to, to wipe down. And uh, let's go ahead and, and, and tackle this workout. I've brought some fun exercises for you today. Some of my personal favorites. I know I was speaking with Sergeant Barry, and, and uh, I know we're just excited to bring these movements to you today. So the way that we're working out today, we're, we're doing a, an interval training style. So we're bringing you 40 seconds of work followed by 20 seconds of rest. And we're running through four exercises today. Okay, so this week we're gonna hit a goblet squat to overhead press. Our second exercise will be a three-part push-up complex. So a push-up complex, we're gonna start with a narrow grip to target our triceps, a standard grip, like your uh, normal standard push up here and a wide grip to simulate a chest fly. Okay, that's gonna be our three part push up. We're going to go through two reps of each and then uh, cycle through those three parts during that 40 second of work. Okay, our third exercise is going to be a side lunge and our fourth exercise will be a high plank to toe touches. So the idea, the idea here is to get as many movements, as many body parts moving as we can during our almost 20 minute workout. So if you can block out 20 minutes of your day for you, some me time, we're going to knock out 20 minutes of hard work, put in the effort, put in the work, and we will break a sweat for sure. Um, <clears throat> before we do that though, let's warm up our bodies. Let's get in the mindset, get in, get in, get in our right mode our right frame of mind and, and uh, prime our bodies, get our blood flowing from some dynamic stretching here. So Sergeant Barry, are we ready to go with some dynamic stretching? I'm ready, let's do this. All right, Ooh. good to go. Okay, so just like every Monday before our workouts, we like to get our body moving, get our body ready to go, ready to tackle this workout and to tackle our day and to tackle our week. Solid foundation here. So dynamic stretching, we're looking at stretching multiple muscle groups within our bodies at one time. So let's start off with some knee tucks. We're gonna clasp our hands together here and we're going to bring our left knee to our chest here. Nice, tight stretch and we'll alternate left leg and right leg. We'll knock out about six to seven of these. We're looking at stretching out our psoas, our hip flexors. You can feel a little pull in your biceps to get some blood flow in here. Nice, tight grip. Shake it out as needed. <clears throat> really just starting off slow, getting our body and our frame of mind 
ready in the right mindset and ready to work here. Okay, go through two more here. One and two. Good, let's move into some hip mobility, okay? We're gonna start off with circles. I'm gonna start off with my right leg. I'm gonna go inward to outward. So inside to outside here, nice big circles. We're looking at warming up our hips, working, at our, working on our hip mobility here. If you've been sitting for a long period of time, coming off of the weekend, maybe we've dug into some binge watching of shows, some of our favorite shows. I've watched a couple this weekend as well. I'm looking to get my hips moving a little bit more, getting ready to tackle the day here. Let's go outside to inside now. Outside to inside. There we go. Nice big circles. Again, get our bodies moving, ready to go here. Okay. Let's start off with some straight leg kicks here. We're gonna extend our hand and our legs together. Alternating, left hand hits right foot, right hand hits left foot. Again, really extending. You should feel that stretch in your hamstring. If you're not as flexible to bring it up to parallel, as far as you can, as comfortable. These movements should be comfortable here. Okay, let's go down into a, <clears throat> let's go down into our squat to hand stand, if you will, if you ever wanna do a handstand here. Toes underneath, hands underneath your toes here. We're gonna come down into a square position. Feet should be shoulder width apart here. We're going to squat down, bring that seat all the way down here. Chest is forward, head is looking up. Extend all the way out if you can, or wherever the distance is comfortable for you. You should really feel in your hips open up. You'll feel that stretch in your quads, in your hamstrings, your lower back here, as you extend all the way up. And again, nice and forward here, chest is nice and forward. All right, let's lock out three more nice quick ones here. Get our bodies ready to move. We'll go do, we're gonna go into some jumping jacks here. Let's get our heart rate up and elevated here. Let's knock out about 10 to 15. Extending all the way up, getting our shoulders ready to go here. Heart rate nice and elevated here. Again, priming our bodies, ready to move, ready to work. Okay, let's roll into some high knees. There we go. And buckets. Good, good, good work. All right. <laughs> I don't know about you, Sergeant Barry, but I'm already breaking a sweat. Let's towel ah. off, hydrate. Let's grab some water. I'm gonna get my timer ready to go. Towel off if needed. And let's get to work here. That's great, Roy. Um, I'm glad you're stopping to hydrate. It's We're in Dallas, right, for those of, who are watching who don't know where we are. And it's July and it's hot. So glad, glad you're <laughs> hydrating, both of you. Staying safe. Yes, ma'am. Again, hydration is key here. If you're looking to uh, do some any, any type of strenuous activity, we really want to keep hydrated here. We really want to keep our mind and our bodies nice and focused here. So hydration is key. Okay. I'll run through again. Goblet squat is going to be our first movement. Goblet squat, we're going to rack any type of uh, weight. If you have a gallon of water or any object with a handle, if you have a barbell, if you have a smaller water bottle, like here, we're going to goblet squat to overhead press. So we're gonna rack it, clasp it with our hands, hold it close to our chest. Elbows are gonna be nice and tucked in. We are going to squat down a little bit. Your stance is gonna be a little bit wider than your shoulders, down into a goblet squat. And then as you reach your top, you're gonna to extend overhead. 
here. So we're gonna be working our lower body here, lower body movement at the top. You're gonna to extend up, really pushing up over your head and repeat here. So that's movement number one. Once again, our three part push up is gonna be our second close grip, two reps, standard grip, two reps, wide grip, two reps. We'll cycle through those for 40 seconds of work. Our side lunge to good morning is gonna look something like this. We are going to side lunge here, nice and comfortable, wherever your comfort level lies here. Holding your weight, it's gonna be absorbed onto your, your leaning side position here. We're going to come together and we are going to hinge at the hips here. You wanna hinge at the hips. Your back's gonna be nice and flat here. Your head's in a neutral position and you should feel that stretch and contraction within your hamstrings here. Raise back up, nice and smooth here. And then you will lunge to your opposite side. Absorb the weight. Again, we're building off of our weeks prior here. And then our fourth is going to be a high plank to toe touch. So I may need to adjust that here. We are gonna hold a high plank. We're gonna raise up into a peak position and right hand, left foot. Back into a high plank position, left hand peek up into your right foot, okay? And it'll look nice and smooth, just like this. <clears throat> Let me get my timer ready to go. And a goblet squat to overhead press will be our first movement here, okay? I'll grab my handle with water here. So- It's my favorite seconds. water. <laughs> is it? One it of is. my favorites as well, Julie. <laughs> Really great for my recovery process on long runs like I do over the weekend here. Um, so 10 seconds to go, Sergeant Barry, goblet squat to overhead press, and let's get ready to work. All right, five seconds here. Two, one. All right, here we go. Weight to chest, goblet squat down, sit back in that chair, and then extend all the way up here above your head here. So we're incorporating our lower body. Sit down into that chair. You are, your glutes are back first, butt back. Knees should be tracking over your toes. And as you raise up up top, nice one, nice solid movement here. Nice and smooth here. Raise above your head to activate our shoulders. Let's get our anterior delts and our big head over shoulders. And time, 40 seconds of work, flies by, flies by. 20 seconds of rest here, we have 15 seconds left and we're going to our three part push up. So again, close grip, two reps, medium grip, two reps, wide grip, two reps. Let's get down, four seconds left. And time, so close grip. I'm gonna be incorporating our triceps here. Center grip, let's pull more from our chest. More from our base. All right, wide grip. <clears throat> Let's simulate that fly. Hands may be out a little more to your outside direction here. And we'll go down. Chest fly here, simulating a chest fly. All right, let's cycle back through. Close grip here. Standard grip is where I'm at. Eight more seconds. All right, last set here. Five more seconds here. Finish it out. Nice, 40 seconds of work there. Side lunge to good mornings is gonna be up next. There you go, Sergeant Barry. Good work, good work. Tough, tough. tough. <laughs> All right, let's get ready. Five more seconds, side lunge to good mornings here. So I'm starting off, I'm gonna go to my left here. Left, side lunge, feet are gonna to come together. Good morning. Head and spine, neutral position, nice and comfortable, in a line. Really isolating and focus on your hamstrings as you come up. Side lunge, feet come together and stretch out in those hamstrings here. 15 more seconds of work. together three two one last rep and time all right 20 seconds of rest here we've earned that and again all of these workouts we can either 
regress or we can progress as needed as our comfort and fitness levels as we meet those three seconds left of rest here high plank to toe touches i'm in a high plank position let's work right hand to left toe plank up step back down in a high plank position left hand right toe nice there we go let's keep our core engaged our core is nice and tight our, hand, our feet are shoulder width apart here, hands shoulder width apart, apart. 15 more seconds of work here. Left hand, right. Left hand, right foot. Eight more seconds, right hand, left foot. Again, if you need to stretch out and hold that high plank position, do so a little longer and time. All right, Sergeant Barry, that's one minute rest for us. Wipe down, hydrate. And uh, one round is in the books for us. Mm -hmm. How are we doing? How are we feeling? Yeah, really good. The push-ups are a bit challenging, but challenge accepted. They are right. I love it. I love to hear that. We love challenges here on our BFIT Live. <laughs> uh, every program, I, I feel like every weekend, we're just building on the previous week building off of movements, incorporating a secondary movement to, again, incorporate additional muscle groups. So and are you, great. when you write the workouts, are you intentionally doing that? Are you intentionally building on what, what you learned the previous week or what you went over the previous week? Correct, Julie, that's correct. Let's 40 seconds of work here, goblet squats over at press. What we're doing is we're progressing off of movements that we've had previous weeks. Uh, we'll start off with foundation movements, just like last week or the week prior, we would just work on squats, okay? So if squats feel nice and comfortable, go ahead and add some resistance to your, to your comfort level here. And then as this week progresses, like we are now, we're adding in an overhead press to not only engage our lower body, but to also incorporate our shoulders. Shoulders are equally as important. Three more seconds, two, one, and time, 40 seconds of work, right in the books there. Good job, good work. All right, here comes our favorite. But to answer your yeah. question, Julie, yes, ma'am. Weekly progressions here. So as we keep moving, as we keep building, our workouts should challenge us just the same. All right, close grip, two reps, 40 seconds of work, here we go. Standard grip. There we go. And our wide grip here. These may be a little challenging, a little too challenging. So if they are, feel free and stick to a standard push up. And again, we can regress by coming down on our knees if needed to start off with. Close grip, activating our triceps right here. Standard grip and wide grip. And time. All right, good work, Sergeant Barry. 20 seconds of work. All right, side lunge to good mornings in five, two, one, here we go. Side lunge to the left here for me and good morning. I'm gonna add some resistance for myself. So again, I'm gonna hold the weight in front of me Nice and easy and bend over. Let's keep that close to our chest. There we go. Side lunge, balance and stabilize those legs. Nice, absorbing the weight on our quads here. Stretch out through our hamstrings. And this good morning is great for an alternative to deadlifts. There we go, and time. All right, 20 seconds of rest here. Deadlifts and Romanian. So if you have a hex bar, like in uh, some military tests where you're able to grab down on both handles and extend up, this would be a great alternative to build on top of that strength work there. Side lunges to good morning, high planks, here we go. High plank to toe touches. Let me go ahead and move this down. There we go. 
All right, hands and feet shoulder width apart, going into a high plank, right hand, left toe, high plank, left hand, right toe. Keeping our core engaged, nice and tight here. Working on our flexibility, stabilization as we come onto one hand, pivot from one hand and reach all the way to that to those toes. You feel your grabs as well as your obliques here. Two, one, and time. Good work, one minute rest. All right. And again, for everyone watching, if you're catching up or if you're just tuning in, we're going through an interval training workout here where we are working 40 seconds on and we are taking 20 seconds of rest in between each exercise, in between each movement and a one minute rest in between each round. And we are tackling four rounds today. So just under 20 minutes of total work and Really, you know, if you're short on time, this is a great uh, workout segment and workout session to incorporate into your daily routines. Morning, if you can knock it out of the way early in the morning, that may help with scheduling and fitting it right in. Goblet squats to overhead press once again. And let's work. I'm gonna grab a dumbbell here. If you have a dumbbell accessible to you, let's go ahead and hold that at the, Weighted part here, we're gonna lower down and extend all the way up here. All right, really focusing on the muscles that we're working here, really focus on lifting with purpose. So seat down, you should feel the absorption in your lower body, in your quads, you'll feel that in your hips, thrust up from your glutes and your posterior chain. And two, one, and times. 20 seconds of rest here. Good work. Way to incorporate that resistance, Sergeant Barry. All right, our favorite in five, three part push up. In two, one, close grip here. Let's keep that neck, spine, tailbone all the way down to our ankles. Nice and straight down, incorporating our triceps once again, our chest. If you wanna do some hand release push-ups here, feel free wherever your comfort level may be. Cycle back through here again, and we are engaging more of our core as we transition from one hand grip to the next by stabilizing. Two, one, all right. And 20 Woo! seconds of rest here. <laughs> Side lunch yeah. good morning's up next. Grab water, favorite. towel off, let's stay hydrated. Yes, ma'am. Four seconds. Okay. Side lunch to good morning. Let's work. Side lunch here. Absorb your weight. Good, to you. Good morning. Side lunge. Activating that quad here. And feeling that stretch in your hamstrings here. Profile view here. Side lunge. Nice. Feeling that stretch in your, in your hamstrings here. Eight more seconds of work here. Time is flying by. Round three. <laughs> Almost done. All right, 20 seconds of rest. High plank to toe touches. Again, let us know if you're joining us today. If you're watching, feel free and take away any type of exercises that you may see, that you may like, that you may want to try in two seconds here. And let's work. Again, hands and feet are just about shoulder width apart here. Hands are on the ground, right leg, left toe in a high plank, high peak or pike position rather. Alternating from left to right, left hand, right toe. Nice and smooth here. No rush on these exercises. We're working for time, not reps, which is a great 
alternative to not counting reps here. So you can get as many reps in as you feel comfortable in the 40 seconds of work here and time. All right. Good work. How are we yeah, doing? How are we doing? Kind of slipping and sliding. Right. <laughs> All right. Great job, you guys. Um, you have a lot of people watching with you, including Army, family, and MWR. They're watching. So they say hi and another great workout. So keep going, y'all. You guys are doing great. Fantastic. I know MWR, uh, they support us so much and we love your viewing and we love your shares. We love your support. So thank you so much. And again, anybody that's watching, feel free and join us. Feel free and put on your most comfortable clothes, comfortable shoes. If um, you want to see something specific, let us know in the comments and we'll tackle it the next week. Join us. Feel free and join us. This is a community. So please feel free and join us. Goblet squats to overhead press in three, two, one. I'm grabbing my resistance here. Dumbbell. Goblet squat down, lowering back, seated, sitting right back down as I'm extending up, thrusting up into an overhead press here. Nice and smooth. Again, if you don't have a dumbbell at your disposal, go ahead and grab anything with the handle, anything that you feel comfortable in grabbing and thrusting above your head here. There we go. I see Sergeant Barry working. Good job. And two, one, and time. 40 seconds of work there in the books. 20 seconds of rest, and we'll go into our three part push up, our push up complex. All right. Five more seconds here. And three, let me get down, ready to work here. And time. Let's work. Okay. All right, close grip first for me, two reps up to a standard grip, two reps and a wide grip here. As wide as comfortable as you uh, feel is what I would suggest. Again, if this is too tough, let's regress onto our knees and even better than that, if you just wanna focus on push-ups themselves, find an ottoman, find a chair, Let's go ahead and push off of the chair and rest. So pushing off of a chair or something a little higher in elevation will allow us to keep working on that straight posterior chain and keeping good form while we're at it here. Okay, five more seconds of rest and we'll go into our side lunge to good morning. And let's work here. Side lunge, lunge here, come together and extend down. Lunge, stabilize, come together, and all the way down here. Let's go ahead and hold it this way. Lunge, together, and good morning here. 15 more seconds of work. To your pace, if you are faster, if you'd like to move a little more reps through your 40 seconds, go ahead and accelerate. Let's push on the gas while keeping form with purpose. Two, one, last rep here. Let's finish it out and time. Good work. All right, finishing up strong here. Seven more seconds. High plank to toe touches, I'm getting down. Ready to work here and let's work. Again, we're working on core strength and total body stability here. So if, if your high plank to toe touches is too challenging, try holding your plank position here, keeping your glutes tight, your quad, your core engaged, and just stay right here for the full 40 seconds and just own this position. Nine more seconds of work. Five. Push through here. Two, one, time. <laughs> Sergeant Barry, that flew by. Ooh, it did. <laughs> that was number three? That was number four. That 
was four. That Woo! was four. Uh, sounds like it's getting easier. <laughs> Let us track when you're having fun here. And again, 20 minutes of work is all it takes, whether you're finding a, a location, a nice safe location outdoors like myself, or whether you're at home in place, clearing out a small space for you to tackle 20 to 40, uh, you know, if 60 minutes is more of your range, if you have the space and, and make the time, feel free and extend those workouts. Instead of four rounds, maybe you're going five or six rounds to extend that total 20 minute time. And uh, for anyone joining, again, it was 20 minutes of work or less interval training style. So we are working the clock instead of the reps. So Sergeant Barry and I did 40 seconds of work on each exercise and 20 seconds of rest in between those exercises to tackle a full body workout for us. You guys had, you look like you were working hard, um, but that it was manageable for y'all because you guys work out regularly, but we do have a question that we do have a question that came in from Barbara and Barbara is asking about hydration. She says she's diabetic and that when she exercises, she gets dry mouth. So how, how often should she be hydrating? I mean, I know you're not a doctor, but I mean, sure. maybe you can speak to the importance of hydration. Again, so maybe uh, best practices, Barbara, is instead of waiting to hydrate during your workout, let's try and hydrate before. So let's tackle uh, two glasses, uh, you know, eight or, or 16, anything higher than that, 24 ounces of water before an hour or two before your workouts to try and replenish those fluids. And better yet, uh, think about the days prior. If, if the night prior, you know you're going to tackle and, and sweat and, and leave your mouth in a sign of, of dehydration, then uh, drink as much fluids as you can the day before. That way you're replenished, you're good to go. If you're working out in the mornings, uh, definitely I would suggest or re recommend to hydrate beforehand uh, from my experience, um, you know, from, from what I've experienced myself. So hydrating before the workout versus only during your time and then hydrating the night or the week prior. Try to get a regular regimen of, of intake of water to sustain your hydration. Thanks, Roy. Thanks for that perspective. One sure. other thing, um, one other thing I noticed is that you did some modifications. So you used a water bottle to do the goblet squat to overhead, while Sergeant Barry used um, a, a weighted plate. So, what are yes, some other um, options for for folks at home who want to try this at home? Maybe they don't have a dumbbell. Sure, absolutely. So, if you don't have a dumbbell, or if you don't have a plate, uh, a weighted plate uh, at, in your access. Uh, try one, uh, obviously, once you command your, your proper form of movements just with your body weight and you want to progress into a little more resistance, <clears throat> excuse me, anything with a handle, if you have a gallon of water, uh, any, uh, you know, it can be detergent, it could be anything that you feel comfortable with holding to your body. If, if that's a little too heavy, let's just start off with two water bottles for instance, and let's clasp them, clasp them together and let's move from there into added resistance. So anything around your house, it could be a backpack. Um, it can be, uh, depending on how much weight you were lifting, it can be a, <laughs> a luggage, you know, again, just it, it's, this is a time where we are forced to get creative. So uh, myself, I've, I've gotten creative again with backpacks, with luggage, with added weight inside of the luggage, inside of the backpacks, inside of your your ruck uh, sack or, or anything like that. So just anything to get creative, but this is the time, you know, this is the time. That's great. And what I loved what you said during the workout about this being a community and you yes, and Sergeant, Master Sergeant Barry are um, certainly a, a part of our community. We're so grateful for you. Where can viewers go to find out more about the BeFit initiative? Absolutely, Julie. So Anything that you may want to know in regards to our BFIT programs, we house a lot of information once you hit Shop My Exchange, but also follow our BFIT page exclusively and, and specifically for all programs and, and all articles regarding BFIT on our Exchange Hub, which you can find. And we'll drop in the comments below, I'm sure, which will be at shopmyexchange.com forward slash BFIT. So again, we have recaps of every single Monday workout. So if, if viewing may not be uh, the best form for you, maybe you're at work, maybe the volume's too loud, 
you know, if, if you'd like a step-by-step -step instruction on how to um, complete each one of these movements, I'll go ahead and recap each exercise, each workout, and we'll throw it on the, and I'll put it on the exchange hub for us, as well as nutrition tips, uh, additional fitness trips, uh, tips, excuse me, and any type of um, extended BFIT program material. That's so great, Roy. And yes, I will drop that in the comments and we'll pin it up to the top. So that'll be the first thing that viewers see. Great workout today. Great work. Way to start off our Monday on the right foot, y'all. I appreciate you guys so much. Do you guys have anything else to add or are you ready to like go in and take a shower? <laughs> <laughs> no, you know what? If, if we could extend these workouts and, and if we could invite, uh, you know, more people on, you know, that would be fantastic. Maybe we get a, a group Zoom workout all together in the future. <laughs> But again, uh, as, as you mentioned, Julie, this is a community. Uh, we're here to support. We're here to help sustain. Um, whether it's whether you're just starting your fitness endeavors or whether you're extending and you know really building on your fitness while these times are uh, can be tough. You know, we're here to support. We're here to help. We're here to build and encourage and motivate. So, um, all things, please keep in touch with us uh, and, and keep watching, keep viewing, and, and let us know what you'd like to see. If you, um, you know, if you have any recommendations or, or things like that, we'd love to hear from you. And again, every Monday is at 11 a.m. Dallas at Central Standard Time is where we'll be uh, right here on Facebook. Perfect. Thank you, Roy. Thank you, Sergeant Barry. Appreciate you both. Hope you guys have a great rest of your week. Thanks for being here with us today. Yes, ma'am. <laughs> All right, guys. Way to build Bye. up on your Monday. Let's tackle the week. You got it. Good job. Bye, guys.